Hi everyone, I am Amitesh at GetSet SQL and in this tutorial we will learn what is temporary table. We will also learn how temporary table works and what are the different types of temporary tables available in SQL Server and where exactly they are being used. So stay tuned and let's start. As the name suggests, temporary table is a type of table which exists temporarily on the database. So what is what is the temporary period of it? It remains available till the parent session is alive. Now to understand the session, I'll show you this picture where you can see there is one SQL Server database and many users are connecting to this SQL Server for retrieving and manipulating and storing and deleting the data, right? So single installation of the SQL Server is called one instance and the connection is being created is called sessions a single instance can provide n number of connections to the users so for single instance we can have many sessions and in this picture i am showing four sessions so the temporary table is limited to the certain user only if specific session creates one temporary table then it is the temporary table of its own okay now let's see in the example So this is my SQL Server. So first of all, I'll connect to my SQL Server database. Now this is my one instance where I'm connecting. Now if I create one query, it means I'm creating one session. So this is my one session and this way I can create separate sessions here. So each session is different from another session. This is a separate connection with the SQL Server database and this is a separate connection. Now let's see using one session I create a temporary table. First of all I'll switch to my main database. This is sample db. And now here I will create a new table. Let's say my table name is employee. And then I'll create only two columns integer and name. Okay. So this is my normal create table statement. But if I write a hash keyword before this table name, then it becomes a temporary table. And this temporary table get created into tempdb database. Let me show you the tempdb database. So this is the system database and these are user defined databases. Okay. So I'm talking about tempdb, which is a system DB database. So I have total four system database, master, model, msdb and tempdb. Whenever we create a temporary table, it get created into temp table. Click this and you will see here we have a section temporary table. If I open this, there is nothing in this temporary table. But when I create a new temporary table, the table is created. If and if I refresh this temporary table folder again, you will see a table is created. And this time it is created with a special character after the table name you can see a special character is assigned by default by the sql server to this name this is because of maintaining the uniqueness of each temporary table now why this is required it is because we can have a number of temporary table with the same name in different sessions but all that session will create the temporary table in this folder only so this uniqueness help SQL Server to identify that from which session this table is connected. I can query this table. I need to write hash with before the table name. I can also is assign some value into this table. This completely behaves like a normal table, but only difference that I have explained that it remains available for the session only. So as long as my session is available, this table will remain existing. But as I disconnect it with the session, the temporary table will automatically be vanished. Let's first see how to insert a value into temporary table. This is quite normal as we do in normal tables. So insert into table name, then column name, two columns ID and name, and then we will pass some random values. Let's say one comma A, then second value, and so on. We can pass n number of values. Okay, so this time I'm going to insert four rows into this temporary table, four rows inserted. And if I query this table again, 
so four rows have inserted successfully now you will see i am standing in sample db database okay here also you can confirm but if i move to another session and query the same table let me switch to the same database sample db and if i query the same table that i have just created in one session you can see that same table is not available in the same database but another session so it says invalid object name employee okay so it means that proves that this temporary table is available for a certain session only the same table if i query from the different session or a connection then this table will not be available if i copy paste this create table statement into another session and create one more table with the same name putting a hash here execute you can see i am standing in the sample db database but again i am able to create one more table with the same name this is only because i am into a different session and if i go and verify this system database temp db refresh this and go to temp db temporary table and here you can see with the same name i have two tables but they have attached with the different special characters right you can see they have different special character attached so they are uniquely identified for different sessions okay in this employee table i can have different set of values insert into hash employee and if i directly provide value into this let's say this time 10 x 11 y 12 z so three row inserted into this table and if i query hash employee from this session you will see different record and if i query the hash employee from this session then you will see different record so this way we can confirm that the temporary table is limited to its own session only so we have seen how to create a temporary table here now let's see how we can drop the temporary table There is very simple statement either we can write drop table and temporary table name so this is the normal way we drop any normal table from the sql server database but if we don't delete this table and just close the session then also this table will automatically be deleted let me show you that we still can see both the tables available in temporary folder each one for its own session now let's say i disconnect this session disconnect so now i'm available for one session only and currently i have no another session so if i refresh this temp db again you will see this time only one existence of employee table is available if i disconnect to this session also then i should not have any temporary table available in temp db now currently i'm not connected with any session and again if i refresh this we can see there is no temporary table available in tempdb and all temporary tables have already been deallocated or vanished so this is the example of local temporary table now let's move ahead in sql server there are two types of temporary table first is local temporary table and the second is global temporary table so the only difference between both the tables that the local temporary table is available for its own session only while the global temporary table is available for all the sessions let's see in the example so so far we were discussing about local temporary tables now we will see how to create global temporary tables so before this let me explain what is the difference between local temporary table and global temporary tables so local temp table is available for current session only in which it is declared it cannot be referenced from any other session or connection while the global temporary table can be created in one session but can referenced from any of the session until it get dropped in the parent session now let's see in the example how it works i will create a global temporary table using same statement create table this time i will use double hash employee id int name where can and if i run this so i have created a global temporary table that i can confirm here just refresh and go to the folder temporary table you can see a double hash with table name is assigned this time and a strange thing you can uh, see here that this time we don't have any 
special character attached with this, this table name so why this is so so this time very important to understand that a global temporary table is uniquely identified on sql server at a single time so at one time we can have only one global temporary table with a unique name with a single name we cannot have two global temporary tables let me show you with more clear example if i create a local temporary table with the same name hash employee id int name where so i already have a global temporary table with double hash with employee table name and this time i am creating a local temporary table with single hash and same name so table is created if i refresh this you can see here i have a double hash with employee and here i have a single hash employee because this table is for a single session only we can have the same table name for the different session also so that is why in this table a special character is assigned now i will create one more session and would try to call this global temporary table and let's see if it is available there hash employee this is my different session and from here if i call my global temporary table it is available so this global temporary table was created here but it can be referenced from different session also and and also we can perform any action on this table let's say i want to insert some records I will insert only two records two was affected and if i query from different session you will see the new inserted record is also available in a new session even we can create any new session and from there also i can reference that table so this is the basic difference between global temporary table and local temporary table so in this session we learned that what is temporary table so temporary table is a kind of table that is available for a session only we use it basically for temporary data storage let's say we are writing very complicated code in which we are doing uh, some activities in a steps and middle of the steps we want to store some data we want to keep data for our further calculation so there we use temporary tables temporary tables always get created in tempdb system database so it may happen sometime that if we are processing very high volume of temporary table then we may experience out of memory because temporary table may go out of the capacity of its memory allocated and your insert a statement or any operation on temporary table get failed so this is all for today's session hope this tutorial will add some value to your knowledge if this is so please like this video and subscribe my channel i'm also working on newly created blog getsetsql.com you can visit there and advise me to write more technical articles on that which you want to read i will come soon with more interesting and learning videos till then take care stay blessed thank you